Welcome to Johnny's World. Hi, welcome back to Johnny's World. Hope everyone is having a great week. Um, well, I'm going to one of my favorite nurseries to try to look for some great varieties of avocado trees to add um, to my avocado growth. So let's go. Let's try to find some great varieties of avocado trees. So we are at the beautiful Louis Nursery in Riverside, California, and this nursery is beautiful. This is uh, one of my favorite nurseries to go to uh, when I buy my avocado trees. Uh, but they have a whole host of other things. It's really nice. So let's uh, let's go to the avocado section. Let's see what varieties they have in stock today. This place uh, usually have a really wide selection of different varieties of avocado trees uh, in their in their five gallon containers. So let's go. So we're here at their avocado section and these are the five gallon avocado section area. And they have really great varieties. They have a Levin's Hass. I don't have that variety. They have the Gwen Avocado. I may buy one of these just because uh, although I have a Gwen in a container, I don't have one in my avocado grove. They have the Stewart avocado. I do have that in my avocado grove. They have the Edinger. I do not have an Edinger, so I may pick up one of those. They have a Don Gilligly. This I've always found this variety to be fun. Uh, it's a dwarf, uh, a smaller kind, and I may pick up one of those too. It's a very interesting looking avocado. They have ha Hass. They have some bacon avocados. They have Surprise. Now all of these I do have down in my avocado grove. They have some nice trees today. They have the Zutano avocado. I don't have a Zutano, but I think I'm gonna pass on the Zutano. They have a lot of these avocados covered in these cloth. They have the gem, probably due to sunburn concerns. Now here's the Esther avocado. This is an interesting variety. I'm going to wait for uh, a fellow YouTuber, Rem's uh, taste test before I get that. This is the Carmen Hass. I do have a Carmen Hass down in my avocado growth, so we'll pass on that. Uh, lamb Hass. I, I already have a Lamb Hass down in my avocado growth. Kona Charwold. Now this is a variety I might pick up today. I have one in my backyard but not in my avocado grove. So I may have to pick up a Kona Charwold today. Um, I've been really wanting to plant one down in my avocado grove. Here's the Edwinol. I do have an Edwinol down in my avocado grove. They have some nice five gallons today. Here's the reed, and the reed avocado, I do have one in my avocado grove. The Jim Bacon, I do not have a Jim Bacon, but I think I'm likely gonna pass on the Jim Bacon. Pinkerton, I do have a Pinkerton down in my avocado grove. 
they have some nice selections today believe it or not they usually have a lot more varieties than this um, but their selection is really not bad right now and their quality of uh, avocado trees is is great as usual uh, but yeah sometimes they have even more varieties here's a Nabal now I have a Nabal in my 24 inch box but it's too heavy to carry down so I might pick up one today and here's the queen I already have a queen down my avocado grove so here are the avocado trees that I picked today to buy the Don Gilligley because it's a smaller type tree and the fruit, fruit looks strange <laughs> so I, so I want to get one I picked up a Gwen because I only have one in my 24 inch box and not in my avocado grove And to pick up an Edinger because I don't even have one at all. I'm gonna pick up a Kona Sharwal. And lastly, I'm gonna pick up a Nabal. So those are the avocado trees that I picked today. And look at that Edinger. Well, now I'm heading back home. It's gonna take me about an hour and a half. So one and a, one, one and a half hours to get home. But that was a trip well worth it. I picked up some great varieties of avocado trees today. And I'm gonna head on home and uh, sometime soon I'll be planting those in my avocado trees. Thank you very much for joining me today.